From the newsroom at news.com.au. I'm Andrew Bucklow and this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Monday the 23rd of November. Well, after 137 days, the border between Victoria and New South Wales has finally reopened. The border was closed on July 8 as Melbourne recorded a surge in coronavirus cases. It comes as Victoria's Premier Daniel Andrews loosened rules about mask wearing in the state. Victorian residents will be allowed to ditch their mask when they venture outside so long as social distancing is possible. In other news now, and a man in his 50s died of horrific injuries after being mauled by a shark at one of Western Australia's most iconic beaches yesterday. The man was bodyboarding alone at Cable Beach when the shark mauled his thigh and bit off his hand. Emergency crews were called to the beach, but the man, who was a broom local, could not be saved. Police lawfully shot at the three to four metre long shark, which remained in the area for about half an hour after the attack. Overseas now, and a close ally of Donald Trump has slammed the US president over ongoing legal challenges to the election result, calling it a national embarrassment. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie denounced a lack of evidence in Mr. Trump's legal challenges. He said that Mr. Trump has had his chance to prove allegations of widespread voter fraud in court. Listen, I've been a supporter of the president's. I voted for him twice. But elections have consequences, and we cannot continue to act as if something happened here that didn't happen. To entertainment now, and history was made in the block finale last night. Jimmy and Tam from Brisbane became the first team in the show's history to take home more than $1 million. They came here as battlers from Queensland. Yeah, you did. And today they're heading home with $966,000 in profit plus the grand prize of $100,000, giving them a grand total of $1,066,000. Their win is the biggest cash prize in Australian TV history. The other teams all won between $460,000 and $650,000 each. IT millionaire Danny Wallace bid on every house and ended up buying three doing all right for himself. And in sport now, an AFL chief executive, Gilla McLaughlin, has revealed the league's financial losses during the coronavirus-impacted season were less than $100 million. Now, there were fears the AFL would suffer a mammoth $965 million hit in lost revenue when the competition went into lockdown in March. Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk's decision to allow players to relocate to her state is being credited as the thing that saved the season. Well, that's it from the newsroom. We'll be back with another update in the Arvo. Your headlines from news.com.au.